our public hearing items is 5A. This is REZ 2019-04 at Southeastern Freight Lines. 2120 West Hill Avenue is currently CH and R1 and the request is for M2. It is served by County Water and Sewer. It involves 18.96 acres. Ms. Stevenson, good morning. Good morning. Thank you. This is a request to rezone two parcels. One is split zoned R1 and CH. The other is zoned CH. Uh, the request is to rezone both of these parcels from CH and R1 to M2. The request is in order for um, the expansion of a well-established existing truck terminal. The subject property does front Highway 84. Concerning the comprehensive plan, the future development map, the property is located within the urban service area and depicted as community activity center character area, in which M2 zoning is not listed as a permissible use. Conditions, considerations to include are that the applicant has operated at this location for approximately 30 years with no formal complaints registered with the county. The economic development factors associated with the request, including investment in the community and economy, expectation of additional jobs, etc., as well as the proximity to I-75. There is existing M2 zoning nearby, approximately a half mile away, just on the other side of I-75 at Savannah Avenue, and the, the applicant is currently connected to county water and sewer, as you said. There is a concern of the increase in truck and vehicular traffic and other potential operations capable of utilizing M2 zoning. TRC considered the request after their February 19th meeting and zoning found the request inconsistent with the comprehensive plan, but there were no other objectionable comments. And considering the concerns of the comprehensive plan, comprehensive plan character area map and the potential uses permissive permissible in M2 zoning, staff offers the following condition. The use of the property shall be limited to the principal use of a terminal for freight by, tra by truck and accessory uses incidental and subordinate to such a facility. Any questions for Ms. Stevenson? Yes, Ms. Stevenson. Is M2 required for their expansion? It is. As a result, there's a 30,000 square foot threshold. Okay. And they're right, right at it right now, so any expansion will require that. Okay. Thank you. Yes, sir. And I'm going to ask this question. The 30,000 square foot uh, requirement is... Is that that's based on the property itself? The on the ULDC code, the code. Okay, not Any, on the not on the structure, the facility. The code says that for that use, anything beyond thirty thousand square feet in facility requires M two zoning. Not total acres, facility. The facility. Okay. Any other questions? All right, we'll move on. To